Welcome back to Outdoor Chef Life. I'm Taku, and today is Taku Tuesday. And if you're not familiar with the concept, I'm Taku, and I upload on every Tuesday uh, here on Outdoor Chef Life. So new video every single Tuesday, and today we're sturgeon fishing. So it took me a few days to catch this sturgeon uh, that you're about to see in this video. But day one, here's how it went. Let's get it started. That's funny. Oh, I got a fish on, I think. Yeah? No. Oh, striper. Oh. <laughs> there you go, it came off. That was a small striper. Yeah. Dude, but if you get him into a good school, you can catch a bunch of them. Yeah. Got him? Got one yet. Real, real, real. Got a fish. Who's on again? Striper. Oh That's my fire. god, tiny striper. <laughs> Such a small striper, dude. <laughs> bye bye, buddy. What the hell? Oh, you got one. I don't know, dude. You got one. GoPro, start recording. It's just heavy. It's just him. Sturgeon. No, I don't know what it is. What the heck? <laughs> Look at that. Look, this perfectly legal size though. Yeah, dude, that's slot. That's 50 inches right there. In the slot limit. <laughs> Set on everything, he says. GoPro, start recording. Oh, it's already recording. <laughs> Mine's recording now. <laughs> Got a fish, dude. Got a striper, I think. Yep. And that's pretty much sturgeon fishing. You just anchor down to the bottom, cast out, and watch that rod tip for that slight bend. And sturgeon are notorious for having the most subtle bite out of any large fish. It could be such a huge fish, but that bite is so subtle that you can't even, you can barely see it sometimes. And you'll see in this next one, I had one more bite on the first day and you can barely see the rod move. And in the video, you can't really even tell. Check it out. Got one, sturgeon. dude. Got one. That's a sturgeon. That's a keeper. Got one. Oh no, it came off. Oh no. Oh, oh no. Oh. oh no. Oh. the hell did it come off, dude? No. no. Oh. Dude, that was a sturgeon. Yeah, that was a nice one too. And that was the last bite I had on day one. And man, I watched that clip over and over. So I'm pretty sure that was a sturgeon. Oh, no. And I really, oh man, I was so sad. Uh, I watched it so many times over and over, just losing that fish and thinking what could have been. But the only thing you can do is go out there and try again. So day two, day two was very slow. So actually, not many bites, nothing really cool happened. I caught one striper, so nothing worth showing. So let's get to day three. Here it is. Got the biggest anchor of any kayak. Uh, ah, <laughs> look at my anchor. You know what they say about big anchors? <laughs> you ain't going nowhere. <laughs> yeah, this current is so fast. <laughs> no joke. 
right, I'm gonna start with uh, just the ghost shrimp. We've got a 12 ounce weight on here. This current is fast. Hopefully this holds. Here we go. First cast. And they made us some smoked uh, steelhead. Whenever I get smoked, uh... oh, oh, bro, <laughs> no, <laughs> no. Did you see that though? Whenever I get smoked fish from Ensei, I usually catch. So it's a good luck, a little good luck charm right here. Is that okay if I'm sitting right here or should I? No, you're good. You see, it pays to have a big anchor. <laughs> Everybody has to <laughs> anchor down yeah. on my anchor because they're drifting. <laughs> My anchor is not big enough at all. <laughs> it's just sliding everywhere. <laughs> this is pretty funny, huh? The, the boats are gonna be, why the hell are those kayaks <laughs> just right next to each other? <laughs> just tight, clustered. Pretty sure that's sturgeon right there. A big one too. Oh yeah. Man, that took up more than the whole screen. Yeah, I went down to Ginger's. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, bro, 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 set, 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 set. <laughs> oh, oh, yay. Go for it, start recording. Hey, go, first catch of the day. Keeper. Striper. Where'd all his stripes go? <laughs> Just disappearing. Yeah. All right, little guy. Gave uh, Ense a heart attack. <laughs> <laughs> you want this? No. Okay, all right. All right. See you, guy. So we are moving spots because this spot we're seeing fish, but we're not getting any bites. Might be a bad call. Might be a good call. Who knows? See you guys there. Oh, Adam's on. Oh no way. Get him! Oh, get him! Come on, Adam! Uh, good work. Yeah. That fish. He got he one. So hard for that thing, man. Yeah, Adam worked so hard for that fish, man. Congrats to Adam. That was his first keeper sturgeon ever. So go check out his video, Die Hard Fishing. I'll leave a link in the description. What did you get it on? Uh, ghost shrimp and then a grass shrimp pop. Got a, got a good feast there. Two ghost shrimp and a grass shrimp. The big one on the bottom right now. All right, man, now you need to get one. Yeah. Adam, did you use magic thread? Was it a good pump? Was it a good strong pump? What color underwear are you wearing? Black. <laughs> oh, me too. Wait, no, current's going that way. Yeah, so they're going this way. Going this way. Oh, there's a few right there. Ooh, yeah, yo, yeah, yo, yeah. oh, come on, come on. Oh, come on, come on. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. I got him. Yes, I got him. Go for it, start recording. I don't know what it is. Feels like striper? No, this is sturdy. Okay, let me no, feel metal. Okay. Alright. I got this fish under control. Yeah. Yeah, it's coming in. It's coming in. Oh, little guy. Little sturgeon. Baby. Well, no skunk. Alright, your turn, bro. My turn. Your turn. No big deal, you know, just cooking some rice on the kayak. Like what? What, steelhead rope? Yeah, you can rope. use that. I yeah. even brought some more if you want it. Yeah. Oh, just look at that. I think it'll spread out. Oh my goodness. That is a beautiful bowl of roe and a raw egg yolk. And this is just such a perfect bowl. Mm. 
Oh, that was a pump. No? Oh, you got him. Oh. You got him. I think it might be a striker. GoPro, start recording. He's ripping. Fish on. Oh. oh shoot, dude, I think I got one. Nice. Keep it tight. Keep it tight. Does it feel big? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh no, just jump. Oh shit. Oh. Taking off now. Oh, a lot. <laughs> Wait, man. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, dude. My left arm is killing me right now. Hey, <laughs> stuck. Yeah, baby. Oh my gosh. It's a nice one. That's a keeper, huh? Did you see that jump? Keeper. Yeah. Stay. Uh, focus on the fish. The barbless hook. I had a little bag of um, of grass shrimp right there, and then the ghost shrimp too, and then more grass shrimp on top of that. Good job, guys! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I just finished up that last video uh, with the steelhead row. Uh, we just ate it here <laughs> less than an hour ago, <laughs> and this is how we finish. Wow. Let me get some 
Oh my goodness! <laughs> oh. Nice! Oh. oh my goodness! Wow, look at that! Can you believe that? <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> wow, we're getting it done this year, man! Yeah, we are! We're off to a crazy start! <laughs> He worked hard for that fish, man. Thank you. Yeah. Wow, look it, how bro. beautiful this is. Such a beautiful fish. This, this is a dinosaur right here. <laughs> These guys literally have been uh, around since how long? Since, since dinosaurs, dinosaurs, right? <laughs> since dinosaurs. <laughs> and I can't believe oh, I got one today. Dude, finally we got, we succeed together. <laughs> yeah. Usually we both fail, or if we get lucky, one of us. Can. Yeah. Nice. 43 inches, baby. <laughs> and keeper size is 40 inches to 60? 60. 40 to 60 inches. There's a slot limit for these uh, sturgeon. Because you want to let the big ones go, and then also the little ones too. So, so the slot limit, that it's 40 to 60 inches. And those are the only ones you can keep to make sure that um, these guys live on and to make sure we have them year after year. Oof. Look at that head. My gosh. This is crazy, man. <laughs> this is the craziest thing. This is the biggest fish I've ever caught, for sure. And these sturgeon, there's um, a limit per person two per year so i think it's one per day and then two three per year it's three per year got it checked off the list another fish off the list and i'm really curious to see how these taste because i've never had sturgeon actually so I'm really curious and it's ensei's turn ensei's got a couple small ones today <laughs> at least i know you will though shout out to steelo deadliest cast he hooked me up with this uh, with this nice leader here, so I got him on. Thanks, Stilo. Thanks, bro. Appreciate it, man. Got him in. Whew. Third time was the charm, huh? Wow. Oh my god! Am I wrong? It's on. Oh my god, dude! Oh my gosh! Oh yes! That's a big boy. I'll help you with the rod. No, oh, thanks. Other rod. Get it. Get it. Jeez, that's a big Oh, it came no. off. No. Oh, no. That was my fish right there. That was your fish, dude. Yeah. Yeah, it came off. I felt it pop. It's all right. Oh, man. Damn. Big one, dude. Oh, man. All right. Just give me 10 more minutes, man. It broke off. Broke it. Damn. Damn. Yeah. What? How many pound test was that? The, uh, 50 pound test. 50 pound? Mm. You want one of these Stilo leaders? <laughs> yeah, sure. It's 100 pound, dude. Take a Stilo leader. Yeah. That's a good one. My first sturgeon, 43 inches. A nice keeper, nice healthy keeper. Adam with his uh, 41 inch sturgeon as well. Make sure to check him out, guys. Oh, that was awesome. What a day, man. What a day. We've just been killing it out here. We've just been killing it, man. 2021 is off to an amazing start. I'll tell you that. Wow. That was so cool, guys. Now we're gonna cook up our beautiful sturgeon. And people say sturgeon is like pork. And when I think of pork, I wanna make some uh, tonkatsu. In this case, it'll be sturgeon katsu. So, I'm gonna do that for one of the dishes. And another dish that I'm craving right now is gonna be uh, okonomiyaki. So I know I've made that several times in my videos, but I'm craving it, so I want it. I wanna make that with the sturgeon because uh, oftentimes it's made with thin slices of pork as well. So, so I'm gonna use the sturgeon instead. And I think it'll be good. 
First, we're gonna start off with the half a cabbage and we're gonna do a little slice and dice on this cabbage and we'll put it into a bowl. Then I'm also gonna add some green onions in there as well. And this is a portion from the sturgeon. I'm gonna thinly slice, just like sashimi, thinly slice and slice. And moving on, this is another chunk from the sturgeon. I'm just gonna take it and butterfly this piece open and we'll leave it just like that. These are a few of the dry ingredients that we're gonna use today. And this first one is Okonomi flour. But uh, if you don't have this, access to this stuff, you can just use all purpose flour. I do that all the time. Uh, this is just basically flour mixed with some seasoning. And I'm gonna add a couple eggs to that and add some water to it as well. And we're making sort of like a batter, uh, kind of a similar consistency to a pancake batter. And I'm just gonna keep adding a little flour, a little water until I'm happy with the texture and the consistency of it. And when it looks something like this, uh, this is what I'm going for right here. Heat up a pan over medium heat. And once it's hot, we're gonna add that cabbage mixture onto there. Now we're gonna lay the slices of sturgeon right on top, covering the entire top of this cabbage pancake called Osaka style okonomiyaki, which is the town where I am from. Now let's work on that butterfly piece of sturgeon. First, we're gonna dip it in some flour. Now get the egg wash all over it as well. Then finish it off in the panko. That's what's gonna give it that crispy, crunchy, texture that everybody loves from katsu. Heat up some oil on medium heat and drop that sturgeon in. Now let's check on the okonomiyaki. Looks like it's ready to flip. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip it. In about another five minutes, this should be perfectly cooked. Let's give the katsu a flip as well. Looking golden and looking good. We'll let this go for another four minutes or so. I'm gonna flip it one more time just to make sure it's nice and crispy. And I'm just gonna squish it around, make sure it gets that top nice and crispy as well. Ooh, there you go. All right, both dishes done with perfect timing. Let the katsu rest a little and let's sauce this up with a little YBS secret sauce. And this other sauce, this is called Okonomi sauce and I'll show you what that looks like right here. And of course we're going to put some katsu bushi on there aka bonito flakes and we're also going to finish that off with a little al nori which is just some seaweed flakes. Those two al nori in the middle. Katsubushi on the right. Got IPA, West Coast style IPA, Ale Smith. Oh, look at that. Perfect. <laughs> Cheers. Come <laughs> Mmm. Oh. Sour. <sighs> Sturgeon tonkatsu. Sturgeon katsu. And uh, if you didn't know, that's tonkatsu sauce. This is okonomi sauce. Just slightly different. If you don't have one or the other, you can pretty much use it interchangeably, but this one is a little more acidic. The tonkatsu sauce, it's a little more runny too. You want to use that for the for katsu. If you didn't tell me this was fish, I wouldn't know. Mm-hmm. Wow. <laughs> oh, that's good. <laughs> 
Mm. Mm. Crispy. Yeah, the texture isn't very much like fish, huh? Mm -mm. Yeah, people say the texture is like pork. That's why I decided to make like tonkatsu, which is normally made with pork. Okonomiyaki, which is normally made with pork as well. Thin slices. Mm. And it's really good. This is so good. Mm -hmm. Wow. All right, now for the okonomiyaki. Mm. Oh, I love okonomiyaki. Mm -hmm. I was craving it. Oh, I really can't tell this is fish. Yeah, huh? Yeah, sturgeon is so unique. What a fish. I know a lot of people smoke it. That's like a pretty common way to prepare um, sturgeon. I think I'll try that with some of them. I still have some fillets left. I gave, I give a lot to friends. So um, yeah, but it's a big fish, so I got a lot, a lot to go around. I actually like this better than the pork or chicken. Really? Because <laughs> it's not as oily. Yeah. I feel like the yeah, pork gets right. too, too greasy. Mm-hmm. This one perfect. Oh uh, yeah, the texture is so soft. It's not as, mm. it's not as dense as pork. Mm -hmm. You know, but it's so soft, and but it's not flaky like a fish. Like it doesn't yeah. break apart like that. Mm. Oh, I finally found a fish I like <laughs> more than salmon. <laughs> well, except raw, salmon still rules. Mm. So cooked fish wise, mm -hmm. sturgeon is number one now. That's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, this is so good. Yeah, I'm pretty impressed with sturgeon. Because I know people said, oh, it's similar to pork, but I feel like I've heard comparisons before. Mm -hmm. And I'm always just like, no, it still tastes like what it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But this one's kind of true, huh? Yeah. Surprisingly. Yeah. I was craving this, but now mm -hmm. I really want more of this. Mm. Right? So good, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thanks for watching guys. If you liked the video, make sure to hit that thumbs up, subscribe, and we'll see you guys next time. Peace. Oh. <laughs> it just popped off. Writing to the memory card was not complete. Recovery Ooh. data. Enter recover data, please. Got messed up. Uh-oh, I don't think I got. I think it got deleted. If there's footage missing.